and energy. Section 2.1 we're going to look at classification of matter. Matter is basically anything that takes up space and has mass. So the things that you can see around you have are matter and the things that we are too small for us to see are also matter. They make up the larger things a lot of times that we can see. We classify matter in different ways. First, a pure substance is classified as a matter that's fixed in composition. An element, for example, is one type of atom, and so you can have many types of atoms, but if you only have one type, then all of those are the same element. A compound is composed of two or more elements, always combining in the same proportion. Elements are pure substances only containing one type of material. Copper, for example, is an element as well as lead, aluminum, hydrogen, uh, oxygen, those things that you find on the periodic table of elements are all elements. Um, if you have an element of copper, like for example a coin, then the copper consists of copper atoms. A compound contains two or more elements in a definite ratio. For example, hydrogen peroxide is H2O2, whereas water is H2O. Whenever you have water, it's always two atoms of hydrogen and one of oxygen together. It's interesting that water and hydrogen peroxide are very different chemicals. Um, but one only just has one more oxygen than the other. It makes a big difference. Table salt is a compound that contains two different elements, sodium and chlorine. I think if sodium is actually a, a soft metal, and sodium metal is actually um, water reactive. If you dump it in water, it will explode. And so, um, you can take this exploding metal and you can add it to chlorine gas, um, which will kill you and if you breathe it, and you add those two things together in a chemical reaction and you come up with sodium chloride, which is table salt, which is something that is safe to eat. A mixture is type of matter that has two or more substances that are physically mixed together but not chemically combined. So basically the test for a mixture is that you can usually separate those by using some type of physical method um, such as filtration as you see here where you can filter the liquid portion which will come through the filter but it will catch the solids and so that mixture of liquid and solids is uh, separated by this filtration process. You can have two types of mixtures. You can have a homogeneous mixture or homogeneous, which means that the composition is uniform throughout. That is, if I want to take a sample anywhere in a container of this um, homogeneous mixture, I will always get the same components, the same ratio of molecules. The example they show you here is brass but a homogeneous mixture would also be some of our sodium chloride. Whenever you take a sample of it, you will always get that same proportion of sodium and chlorine together. Scuba mixtures um, in gases um, are used for people that are going to dive deep under the ocean a lot of times because if you have a mixture, uh, for example, of a nitrox gas um, or a trimix gas, you can actually breathe that underwater for longer periods of time. And so the gas is going to be a homogeneous mixture because those gases are going to move together, move together, mix together, and form this um, homogeneous mixture. This It's exactly the same throughout. So when you breathe it in, you're always breathing that same ratio. A heterogeneous mixture, hetero means different. So 
that is that the composition can vary. They're showing you an oil and water mixture here, which is heterogeneous, because if you take a sample from the bottom, you're going to get water. If you take a sample from the top, you would get oil. And so you could get different proportions of water and oil depending on where you take a sample. When I think of a heterogeneous mixture, a lot of times I think of like a salad. Um, if you've got a salad, unless you've got one of those great chopped salads like you can get at some restaurants, um, you're going to have lettuce and tomatoes and carrots and things, but you're not always going to have the same exact proportion of all those vegetables, and so that's a heterogeneous mixture. So if you look at it from um, a classification standpoint, matter, as we said, is anything that takes up space. We can first separate that into pure substances or mixtures, okay? Pure substances means that you have the same, um, you can either have the same types of atoms, which means that it's an element, or you can have more than one type of element in there, and it will be a compound. So they're showing you water, which has hydrogen and oxygen. So that's a compound, but if you have all of the same, for example, copper, that's an element. If you have a mixture, it can either be a homogeneous mixture, or it can be a heterogeneous mixture. Our brass, okay, is a homogeneous mixture, or our salt, our table salt, NaCl. The heterogeneous mixture we were looking at, if you have pennies in a, a, a glass of water, you can filter that out. You can separate them very easily with physical means, so that means it's a heterogeneous mixture. So here's your first learning check. Identify each of the following as a pure substance or a mixture. So pause me for a minute and see if you can figure out which of these. Remember, if it's a pure substance, okay, it's going to be what? It can be elements or it can be a compound, but they'll be the same. If it's a mixture, it could be homogeneous or heterogeneous. All right, see, see how you do. All right, welcome back. I hope you did well. The pasta and tomato sauce is a mixture. Aluminum foil is all aluminum. It's, it's the metal, but what they do is they press it into sheets. Helium is an element. Okay, so it's a pure substance. And air is a mixture of a lot of different things. Oxygen, nitrogen, helium, um, carbon dioxide. So breathing air has all types of gases in there mixed together. Identify each of the following as homogeneous or heterogeneous. Remember, I think of it as if I took a sample, would I get the same exact thing every time I sampled it? If I do, that's homogeneous. So you take a minute and see if you can get these. All right, let's see how you did. Hot fudge sundae, heterogeneous mixture. Okay, unless you get that one from Shoney's because I think you'd probably get the same thing every time. Shampoo, homogeneous. Sugar water, homogeneous. Peach pie, though, you might get a chunk of peach here and not there, so it would be different when we sampled it. So we think of that as a heterogeneous mixture. So that's the end of section 2.1. Um, you can continue with me a little bit later, and we're going to do section 2.2. .2.